how to move HTTP to HTTPS version. Best practices will be explained for WordPress site as well as Google Search Console. Let's imagine that you have already installed SSL certificate on your server. If you haven't, then the easiest option to accomplish that is to contact your web hosting service provider and get them to install it. Now, although you could install it manually, I would discourage you to do it manually because it can be quite complicated. But if you say, no, 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 I have to do it manually, then you need to get a hold of a web developer perhaps, okay? So I will assume that you have already got the SSL certificate installed on your web server. And I'll be showing you WordPress tips and insights as well, as in best practices. And let's go and do this, right? Let's imagine that we want to request our domain without HTTPS. Best bet then is to open up a new browser whereby you are not logged into your WordPress site and then request your domain without HTTPS version to see what happens. Because ideally your web server should automatically redirect the visitors to the secure version. And you should also check the domain without dub 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 version to see where that goes. And as you can see in this example, everything is redirected to the correct version. But what if your website is not redirecting and you are still seeing your website using a different browser and you're seeing the HTTP version? If that's the case, depending on the web server environment, whether it's HostGator, whether it's GoDaddy, simply look at the help sections, whereby you need to then use .htaccess file to do redirection so that everyone, including search engines, go to the correct version of your new website. Because you can think of HTTPS as a new website. So I'll show you my local copy of .htaccess file because I've just grabbed a couple of sample directives for you that you may consider. That's one. You may use that. Or something like this. Okay. Now where is this .htaccess file located? It's located through your cPanel. Simply, I'm showing you your daddy here. File Manager, Document Root, Show Hidden Files, then press on Go. If you're using Crazy Domains, File Manager, same thing applies here. And press on Go. And then locate public underscore HTML. And you have a file here called .htaccess file. Press on it and download a copy. As in, make sure you make a backup of this file. Once you make the backup, you can right click, press on edit, and then make those sample changes that I've shown to you. As in copy and paste and test your website. If something goes wrong, then you can always upload the previous backup copy and everything should go back to normal. Now, Let's get right into it because I've got a lot of things to share with you. Once you log into your WordPress dashboard, on the plugins menu option, you have add new. Simply search for really simple SSL plugin. This is a great plugin that you should install it just in case. As in while you're making the changes. If you have a huge website, then surely there are other methods to update internal links and so on. But this plugin basically simplifies and automates a lot of things. So you should definitely install this while everything is being moved to the correct version. So let's press on settings and let's press on general. Here, make sure that WordPress address URL matches the new version. 
which is HTTPS. Site address URL should also match your new address URL, okay? Now, once that is done, what you should be doing is, if you have a small website, let's, as I've said, let's imagine you've got a small website, then you've got blog posts or pages, then it's only in your best interest to start going through your internal linking structure. And perhaps you can press on Control F, search for HTTP colon forward slash forward slash to see if you have any internal links that has this structure, as in HTTP version. If so, then you need to update your internal linking structure as well. But once again, that plugin simplifies everything for you. And then you simply update your internal pages, whether they are blog posts or pages. Basically, it doesn't matter which URL on your website, you should not have internal links that uses the old version, because then that's never smart. Now, as I've said, if you have a large site, then I'll show you another method that you may consider, which is database, press on PHP my admin, and perhaps you can search Google for SQL, select update PHP my admin. Let's search for that because then you can find sample codes whereby you can conduct an SQL query that looks like this. I'll show you that as well. Okay, basic SQL query looks like this. That's just a sample for you to consider what a SQL query looks like. So when you end up searching for your know, SQL update queries to be conducted on your database, because you can use SQL to do you know, full update automatically by just using few different SQL queries. Now, once again, that is for a, perhaps a large site, because if your site is small, you can perhaps you know, update your internal links within an hour or two. Okay, but if you have, let's say, 10,000 different pages, then you need to find a different option. So let's move on and let's see what else I can show you for a successful site transfer, as in HTTPS transfer. And that is Search Console. Search Console help section gives you more insights. You definitely can check it out. While here, let me show you this. Your robots.txt file should now have different directives, so double check that. Make sure you have HTTPS in the robots.txt file, because this is the first file Google requests. So let's go and take a look at our sitemaps. If you're using popular plugins like Yoast, you'll have your sitemaps here. So these are the URLs of your site. For blog posts, it looks like this. If you have WooCommerce for products, you need to just make sure that your sitemap, regardless of which plugin you're using for WordPress, has HTTPS shown to you. You can press on Control U on your keyboard to double check the permalinks as well as image file locations as well. Once again, everything here should be HTTPS. Now, once that is done, then let's speed up the process for you. Now, then you know that when Google comes to your website, it's going to request robots.txt file. And within that, it's also going to see the sitemap location. And then when it goes to that sitemap location, then it's going to see all your new permalinks that has HTTPS version. And you just tripled made sure the source of the sitemap, if, if it has image 
locations as well everything has HTTPS here now you know when Google crawls your website again it's gonna find all these new locations then ideally what you need to do now is add a new property that has your new website address all you need to do is press on add property and make sure that you're creating a new property for HTTPS version of your website and then press on add once that is added what you then should do is go to a crawl test the sitemap that you have and then test the sitemap sitemap you can actually test the sitemap index if you're using Yoast before you submit always test to see what's going on here if there are any errors and so on okay if everything is good to go then you can actually submit that new sitemap now let's go to robots.txt tester and let's also go to fetch as google robots.txt tester should reveal to you the new sitemap locations and fetch as google what you should be doing is request fetch and render your main domain url that has the https version fetch and render that furthermore don't just leave it at that but rather go to your inner pages or blog posts and fetch and render them as well to see how google is now um, seeing your new website once again you need to create a brand new search console property for https version of your website and do not delete the old one leave the old one in, in its place because once you follow all these steps then as google recrawls your website then it will understand and update everything and this what i found to be the most um, smooth transition for https follow these insights that that are important okay i know i went back and forth and shown you many different things but if you have to watch this video tutorial then do so because you know doing everything properly will then ensure that you don't all of a sudden lose your rankings because you end up seeing you know a lot of errors and you didn't follow google guidelines make sense but if you follow the advice i've just shared with you for your wordpress site then you're basically keeping the ranking fluctuations to its minimum because now google's gonna see everything including your internal links sitemaps urls pointing to your new urls that has https within it now, before we close up, let me show you a couple of directives you can add to wp-config file. What I've just highlighted can go into that file, which can be located through File Manager. And it is within public underscore HTML for most setups. And here you have a file called wp-config always download the file before you make any changes and then right click add it and insert these two lines here now what does these two lines do it assures that whether the admin login or whether you have subscribers who are logging in they are doing so through your new SSL they are doing it through encrypted version okay that's always smart these are absolutely important steps if you want to make sure that your site move to HTTPS using your WordPress site is I shouldn't say error-prone because there is a lot of variations 
But if you follow these tips and tricks, then what will happen is your rankings won't all of a sudden go down and you're thinking, oh, what happened? Makes sense. If you follow these insights for typical WordPress setups, then everything should be as smooth as possible. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.